accidentally smile is because somebody nearby him was in a considerable amount of pain. And he may be looking to do the same to John Bolin in this one-on-one -on -one contest. And even then, it's, no, it's normally just a fleeting smile. Bolt has a phrase he likes to use, big man business. And I think this definitely fits that definition, Joe. And Bolin's not as tall as Bolt. May not be quite all up from behind. Bolt nasty. A couple of overhand rights. Quickly to Bolin, but Bolin fighting back. Not as tall, but every bit as muscular. Just a giant of a man. Absolutely. Uh, this visual does not do justice to how wide Bolin is. It's like walking up to a wall, except that wall is wearing boots. And both men wasting no time, getting very physical. Just laying slaps into each other's chest, and then a shot to the foot, and a big body slam. Bolt nasty, about four years or so in the game. Certainly outmatched experience-wise. Look at Bolin! Elevate Bolt nasty with a slam, and Bolin made it look effortless. Bolt, 288 pounds. You know, Bolin definitely has that angry side to him as well. He just has it a little more in check than uh, Bolt nasty, which isn't saying much. Everyone has it a little more in check than Bolt nasty. John Bolin trained after winning the Impact Wrestling Gut Check Challenge in 2005. Trained by the one and only Scott Demore, who's going to yell at our director a lot tomorrow, but that's another story. Bolt Nasty now with a side headlock on Bolin. And we talked earlier about irresistible force and movable object uh, with our opening matchup involving the ransom in the main event. This is that tenfold. This, this is those two men, or those four men, coalesced into two with not as good of a haircut. Two men who are mad, bad, and dangerous to know it. Oh, Boom! with a meltdown early. Bolin's won many matches that way, but Bolt finds his way to his Bolt feet. already up. Oh! Look out! Bolin sent through the ropes. He may have hit contact with the post. He did make contact with one of our event staff. And imagine that poor security guard upon realizing that John Bolin is flying at you. It's like standing in front of a cannon that just fired. Uh, we told you it was very likely there'd be casualties here tonight. And we found one. And Bolin, maybe favoring the ribs, maybe favoring that core of his, uh, based on how he landed. I'm not sure, again, if he hit the post, how he landed on the floor, but Bolin's hurting. And now Bolin, oh, going right after that shoulder. I think, he's, I think he found the weak spot that was just made, and now he's capitalizing on it. Bolin in a bad way. Bolin, another athlete who has been mentored by some of the best and brightest of the game. Bolt Nasty has dominated this part of the country as part of uh, a number of different factions and various organizations. I was going to say, with Bolin, we've seen him as a uh, Part of the Dead Wrestling Society. We've seen him at a uh, with the uh, ICP and their and their Juggalo Championship Wrestling. I may have mispronounced that. Forgive me if I did. Uh, we're all family here. As Bolin now punished in the ropes by Bolt nasty whiplash like effect. We have Bolin many incarnations, all of them intense, all of them very dangerous. Bolt nasty. He's just Bolt nasty and. That's unfortunate for the rest of us. And a slow pin, he, he didn't even get a one count. Well again, one thing about Bowling, he's got an incredibly large amount of pride. He will never back down from a fight, he will never lay down from a fight, no matter how in pain he may be. Bowling is laid back outside the ring, but he's always very oh. no-nonsense and both nasty may go home with that arm with him if he needs to. The pressure that he just put on that shoulder, the pain must have been white hot and severe for John Bolin. Bolin's trying to fight to his feet at this point. That smothering, overwhelming offense of Bolt Nasty. Certainly playing a major effect and caught Bolin charging in. And Bolin up. Oh! Nice. Right onto the right onto his forehead. And you notice the 
ferocity Bolton got planted with, but Bolt didn't need to leave its feet. And Bolt, I think distracted by the fans. Oh, now wait a minute. If I'm these fans, I don't want to get this close to Bolt Nasty. Bolt may fight the world. Bolt is more than willing to go through anyone in his way. I believe those those red t-shirts are bowling t-shirts. Those fans were taunting Bolt with the uh, WWBD, what would Bolin do? And Bolt, once again, on top of Bolin. A good hard shot, and now again, just pushing the security out of the way. He doesn't care what's in front of him. He will cut through wheat and chaff all the same. No friends, no allies, just victims. If you're Bolt Nasty, who is not too pleased with anybody here at the Rex Theater. Straps are down. Elbows up. Yeah, Bolt able to counter. I think that made Bolt mad more than anything. And now a boot to the face. And Bolt just losing composure by the second. A spear! What a breathtaking spear, quite literally. And thumbs down, says John Bolin. And Bolin measures bulk. Can he get 288? Oh. Into a jackhammer, he dies. John Bolin, the victory.